For week 5, our session is all about problems involving linear function. The objectives of the session, number 1, illustrate examples of problems involving linear functions. Second, determine the steps in solving problems in linear functions. And third, solve problems involving linear functions in a real-life situation accurately and systematically. Okay, so ipisahan natin yung session natin sa concept ng linear function. So linear function is a function with the form f of x is equal to ax plus b. But some books it uses f of x is equal to mx plus b. Now take note that it looks like a regular linear equation. But instead of using y, the linear function notation is f of x. So instead of using y, kasi sa first grading, ito ay tinatawag nating y is equal to mx plus b. But to denote that we're talking about function, we'll be using the function of x or f of x is equal to ax plus b to denote that it is a linear function. Now, almost any situation where there is an unknown quantity can be represented by a linear equation, like figuring out income over time, calculating mileage rates, or predicting profits. So, ito pong tatlong ito yung most of the time na ina-apply yung linear function. So, this particular uh, concept only talks about the real-life application of linear functions. But most of the time, dito po sa tatlong ito ginagamit yung concept ng linear function. Specifically, the real-life application of linear function. Now, let's start our discussion with solving linear functions. Now, to solve a linear function, you would be given the value of f of x and be asked to find x. So, in this case, to solve a particular linear function, uh, we'll be asked to uh, have the value of f of x. We'll be given the value of the f of x from the problem. And based on this particular value of the f of x, we are asked to find for the value of x. Now, let's start our uh, discussion with example 1. Now, our example 1 is solve for x of the linear function defined by f of x is equal to 3x minus 1 if f of x is equal to 8. So, given the fact that f of x is equal to 8 and our f of x or our linear function was defined by f of x is equal to 3x minus 1, what will be the value of our x? So, isummarize natin yung given natin kanina. So, again, our f of x is equal to 3x minus 1. And we are asked to find for the value of x. And our given value for the f of x is equal to 8. So, Alam natin na yung given linear function is f of x is equal to 3x minus 1. Ngayon, since dahil ang f of x natin ay may numerical value na 8 at yung buong linear function natin na given ay f of x is equal to 3x minus 1, pwede natin sabihin that 8 is equal to 3x minus 1. Bakit po naging 8 yung f of x? Because in our given f of x has a numerical value of 8. So, sinabstitute lang natin yung value ni f of x dito. So, from here, eto na siya. Now, mathematically, we cannot combine 3x and the negative 1. But we all know that 8 and negative 1, we can combine them. So, ang next natin gagawin dyan, ililipat natin si, 8, ah, si negative 1, rather, dito sa kaliwa. Ang resulta, we have 8 plus 1 equals 3x. Kasi basically, when we do the transposition, we change the sign. So from negative 1, magiging positive 1 na siya. Ayan. So combining this, we will have 9 equals 3x. However, we are just asked to solve for the value of x. So what we're going to do is we will divide both sides by 3. So 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3x divided by 3. Ika-cancel natin yung 3. Ang value ng x natin ngayon ay 3. 
Okay, so ituloy natin sa example number 2. So, our example number 2 is solve for x of the linear function defined by f of x is equal to 2x minus 1 if f of x is equal to 7. So, just like what we did dun po sa ating unang example, isasummarize natin yung mga given quantities or components dito sa ating example number 2. So, our f of x is equal to 2x minus 1. We are asked to solve for the value of x. Yun po yung tanong sa, sa problem number 2 or example number 2. And f of x is equal to 7. So, ngayon, ang f of x natin ay equal sa 2x minus 1. Yan po yung given linear function sa number 2. Now, if f of x is equal to 2x minus 1, and our f of x has a numerical value of 7, then we can say that 7 is equal to 2x minus 1. Now, just like what we did a while ago, hindi naman po natin pwede i-combine si negative 1 with 2x kasi sila po ay unlike terms. Pero si negative 1 at positive 7 ay pwede. So, just like what we did a while ago with our first example, ililipat natin si negative 1 dito sa kaliwa. Ang resulta, magiging 7 plus 1 equals 2x. Simplifying this further, we have 8 is equal to 2x. So, pinagsama lang ho natin ito. But then, we, since we are just asked to solve for the value of x, i-divide natin bawat isang term kay 2. So, we have here, ayan o, kasi merong 2 eh. Ayan po o. Oh. So, kailangan natin to ma-remove by dividing 8 of each terms by 2. So, 8 divided by 2 is equal to 2x divided by 2. Ika-cancel yung 2. Ang value ngayon ng ating x ay 4. So, for number 2, our x is equal to 4. For the function of x equals 2x minus 1, given that f of x is equal to 7. Now, this time naman, uh, let's have the practical applications ng linear function, mga real-life application or word problems involving linear function. So, let me first read the problem. Number one, a 500-liter tank full of oil is being drained at the constant rate of 20 liters per minute. So, meron daw isang tanke, ang laman niya ay 500 liter ng oil. Siya po ay i-drain, tatanggalan ng laman sa constant rate na 20 liters bawat minuto. So, meron tayong tatlong kondisyon na kailangan nating sagutan para sa problem na ito. Letter A. Write a linear function V for the number of liters in the tank after 30 minutes. After a certain minute. Kasi hindi natin alam kung ano ba talaga yung kung ilang minuto. Kaya, um, T minutes. Assuming that the drainage started at T is equal to 0. Hindi natin alam actually kung ilang minuto ang tatakbuhin. Okay. Letter B. Find the V and the T intercepts and interpret them. And letter C. How many liters are in the tank after 11 minutes and 45 seconds? So, yan po yung mga tatlong conditions or questions sa sasagutin natin later on. Okay. So, start natin sa letter A. Write a linear function V for the number of liters in the tank after T minutes. Assuming that the drainage started at T is equal to 0. So, uh, isa-isahin natin yung mga important components nung problem. So, yung V ay tumutukoy sa number of liters in the tank after T minutes. So, yung V na yan, tumutukoy yan sa amount nung liters or number of liters nung tank after siya i-drain in a particular given time is specifically after 30 minutes. So, ilan na yung natira? Yung natira na yun, yun yung nire siya ay nire-represent ni V. Yung remaining amount nung tanke after siya i-drain in a certain period of time, yun po yung value ni V. Next, yung 500 liters, yan ito mutukoy sa laman nung tanke nung hindi pa nag start yung pag-drain. T is the number of minutes. 
and 20 liters per minute yung nababawas sa kanya bawat minuto. Ngayon, balikan natin. Si V is tumutukoy sa kung yung ilan na, yung natira. Yung remaining amount doon sa tank after siya i-drain in a particular given time. Ngayon, yung 500 liters, ito po ay tumutukoy sa total na laman ng tanke nung hindi pa siya dinidrain. Nung siya ay full tank pa. Ayan. And then yung 20 liters, again, ay tumutukoy sa nababawas na amount doon sa tank uh, sa bawat minuto during the process ng pagdidrain. Kung i-relate natin itong apat na ito sa iisang function, pwede nating sabihin that V is equal to 500 minus 20T. I-explain natin. Yung V ay tumutukoy sa uh, number of liters after siya i-drain sa given part in a particular given time. Ngayon, is equal to 500, yan po yung total na laman ng tanke nung siya ay full tank pa. Dahil pagde-drain, so magbabawas. Kaya minus. So, minus 20 liters per minute. Yung per minute na yun ay represented ng T. Kaya yung function na magre-represent sa letter A ay V is equal to 500 minus 20 T. So, yan po yung sagot natin sa letter A. Okay, so let's have letter B. So, find the V and the T intercepts and interpret them. So, kanina ang nakuha nating function or answer sa letter A ay V is equal to 500 minus 20 T. Ang ibig sabihin lang nito, ito yung mag-explain sa proseso nung example number 1 natin, yung sitwasyon sa problem number 1 natin. Now, we are asked to find for the V and the T intercepts. Tapos, i-interpret natin later on. Ngayon, uh, unahin natin hanapin si V intercepts. So, paano ba yung proseso nun? Now, to get the V intercept, i-set natin yung T sa 0. Parang yung ano lang to, nung first grading natin. Pagkahahan natin si x-intercept, si y magiging 0. So, parang ganun lang din dito. Now, itong dalawang ito ay meron pong relasyon dito sa ating given function na nakuha natin sa letter A. Pag i-relate -re natin itong dalawang values na ito dito, we have V is equal to 500 minus 20 multiplied to 0. Because, we are asked to solve for the V-intercept and our T, sinet natin siya sa 0. Kaya yung T natin naging 0 dito. Simplifying this further, we have 500 minus 0. V is equal to 500 minus 0. Because 20 multiplied to 0, that is 0. And then, V now is equal to 500 liters. Ibig sabihin, ang value ng ating V-intercept or our V is equal to 500 liters. Now, ano ang ibig sabihin ng 500 liters na to na value ni V? Ibig sabihin, it is the amount of oil at the start of the drainage. Ibig sabihin, when T is equal to 0, ibig sabihin yan, nung hindi pa nag start yung drainage, ang laman ng tank ay 500 liters. So, yan po yung ibig sabihin ng V-intercept natin para sa problem na ito or for this particular function. Now, since we already have now the value of our V-intercept, let us now have uh, the value of our T-intercept. So, babalik tarin lang natin yung ginawa natin dito. Since T-intercept na nga hanapin natin, si V ngayon ang gagawin nating zero. So, we will just go back to our function a while ago. V is equal to 500 minus 20T. Since si V ay equal sa 0 at we are asked to solve for the value of T at i-relate natin itong dalawang ito dito, ang resulta, 0 is equal to 500 minus 20T. Mathematically, we cannot combine 500 with negative or with negative 20T. 
Pero si 500 at si 0, since they are both constant, pe pwede po natin yung pagsamahin. So, mathematically, ililipat lang po natin si 500 dito. So, we will have negative 500 is equal to negative 20t. Kasi magiging 0 minus 500. E alam natin, negative 500 din yun. But since we are just asked to solve for the value of the t or our t-intercept, i-divide natin bawat isang side sa negative 20. So we have negative 500 divided by negative 20 is equal to negative 20t all over negative 20. Ika-cancel si negative 20. Therefore, ang value ng ating t ay 25 minutes. Ano ang ibig sabihin nitong t equals 25 minutes? Ang ibig sabihin lang yan, it is the total time it takes to drain the 500 liters of oil. Ibig sabihin, para daw maging zero yung V, o ibig sabihin para madrain totally yung tank, 25 minutes ang kailangang gugulin para totally mawala lang laman yung tank. Yun po yung ibig sabihin ng 25 minutes na value ni T. So, yan po yung solution sa letter B ng example number 1. Let's move on to letter C. How many liters are in the tank after 11 and 45 seconds? So, again, ang given time natin is 11 minutes and 45 seconds. But since we're talking about minutes, dun pa lang sa umpisa ng ating given, for example, number 1, kailangan natin i-convert yung 11 minutes and 45 seconds sa minutes. Okay? Kasi yun na requirement ng problem eh. So, kung iintindihin natin yung letter C, uh, how many liters are in the tank after 11 minutes and 45 seconds? After this particular time, ilan na yung laman ng tanke? So, una natin gagawin, i-convert natin yung 11 minutes 45 seconds sa buo, sa minutes as uh, their uh, unit. Kasi yun na requirement ng problem. So, 11 minutes as is yan, ang problema natin si 45 seconds. We all know, mathematically, sa grade 7, that 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So, 45 seconds divided by 60, that is 3 over 4. So, yung 3 over 4 na yun, that is 0.75, 0 0.75 minutes. Combining 11 minutes and 0 0.75 minutes, that is 11.75 minutes. So, ito po yung gagamitin nating time uh, para sa letter C. Ang tinatanong po sa letter C, how many liters are in the tank after 11 minutes and 45 seconds? So, babalik lang ho tayo dun sa formula natin na V is equal to 500 minus 20T. Ngayon, i -re relate lang po natin itong nakuha nating time dito. So, ang resulta, V is equal to 500 minus 20 multiplied to 11.75 minutes. So, simplifying this, we have V is equal to 500 minus 235. So, when you multiply 20 and then 11.75, that is 235. Simplifying this further, that is V is equal to 265 liters. It means that 265 liters are in the tank after 11 minutes 45 seconds of drainage. So, after this particular time of drainage, eto na po yung matitira sa loob ng tanke. Yan po yung remaining amount doon sa tanke. So, yan po yung answer natin sa letter C. Yan po yung buong sagot natin sa letter, sa problem number 1 from letter A, B, and then this last one as letter C. Let's move on to our last problem, which is problem number two for the real-life applications of linear function. Now, let me read first the problem. Tristan receives a commission of 150 pesos for every cell phone he sells. On top of the commission, he receives a monthly salary of 5,000 pesos. Okay, so 
Sabi sa problem, si Tristan daw ay mayroong komisyon na 150 pesos sa bawat cellphone na babebenta niya. Ngayon, wala pa man yung komisyon, meron na siyang monthly salary na 5,000 pesos. Yun ay sasahurin niya. Ngayon, pag nakabenta pa siya ng mga cellphone, bawat isang cellphone meron siyang komisyon na 150 pesos. So, sa kanya yun. Ngayon, meron po tayong dalawang conditions na kailangan po nating answerin, o uh, answeran rather, sa problem number 2. Now, for letter A, write a linear function A for his total income with X as the number of cell phones he sell. And letter B, what is his total income if he sells 100 cell phones in a month? Matandaan po natin yung mga important components or given doon sa ating problem. So, ang commission niya sa bawat cell phone na mababenta niya ay 150 pesos. Ang kanyang monthly salary ay 5,000 pesos. So, take note of this particular figures. Let's start with letter A. Write a linear function A for his total income with X as the number of cell phones he sells or he sell. So, i-scrutinize natin yung mga important details sa problem. Una, yung capital letter A na yan, or simply A, yan po ay tumutukoy sa kanyang total income. Yung kabuoang kita ni Tristan. 150 pesos ang kanyang commission sa bawat cellphone na kanyang mabebenta. And then, 5,000 pesos ang kanyang buwan ng sahod or monthly salary. And X, based dun sa letter A, yan po ay variable na tumutukoy sa number of cell phones na kanyang mabebenta. Ngayon, kung ating i-relate itong apat na components na ito sa iisang function, pwede nating sabihin na A is equal to 5,000 plus 150x. I-explain natin. A ay tumutukoy sa kanyang total income, kabuuang, kita. Is equal to 5,000, yan po yung kanyang monthly salary, dahil total na pinag-uusapan natin, so plus. 150 pesos sa bawat cellphone na kanyang mababenta. 150 to be multiplied to the number of cellphone na kanyang mabebenta. So A is equal to 5,000, plus 150x. Yan po yung function na maglalarawan sa sitwasyon ng letter A. So, yan po yung sagot natin sa letter A. Let's have letter B. What is his total income if he sells 100 cell phones in a month? So, babalikan lang po natin yung ating function na nakuha natin sa letter A. So, we have A is equal to 5,000 plus 150x. Again, this variable pertains to the total income. Equals 5,000, yung kanyang monthly salary, plus 150 pesos sa bawat cellphone na kanyang mabebenta. Ngayon, ang hinahanap natin ay yung total income. Again, ang hinahanap sa letter B ay ang kanyang total income. At ang value ng X ay 100. Kung babalikan po natin yung ating letter A a while ago, si X ay tumutukoy sa number of cell phones na mabebenta. Ang tinatanong sa letter B, ano ang kanyang magiging total income kung siya ay makakabenta na 100 cell phones? So ang tinutukoy na 100 cell phones na ito ay value ni X. Ngayon, i-relate natin itong Uh, mga ito sa iisang function natin na A equals 5,000 plus 150x. I-relate natin itong tatlong ito. Ang makukuha natin ay A is equal to 5,000 plus 150 multiplied to 100. Simplifying this further, we have A is equal to 5,000 plus 15,000. So, 150 times 100, that is 15,000. Okay. Simplifying this further, our value 
for A is equal to 20,000 pesos. So therefore, kung si Tristan ay makakabenta ng isang daang cellphones in this particular month, siya po ay magkakaroon ng 20,000 pesos as his total income. So yan po yung sagot natin sa letter B.